This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. This show is brought to you by IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Mayhem Show. Yes. New friend, what's your name? Ryan Kidd, Mr. Excitement, Ryan Kidd. So, all the way from San Diego, California, Tijuana, Mexico, here for Welterweight 3 again. Very happy to be here. It's a pleasure. This is awesome. Um, so, I mean, besides being in Cleveland, of course. Of course, of course. I've been in Pittsburgh, Cleveland, and last night I was in Indiana. So, it's always a, uh, a vet, an adventure when I come out uh, this way as part of the United States. So, it's always fun. You excited about your match today? Of course, I'm always excited. Welterweight wrestling. It's always fun to wrestle on pay-per-view. It's nice to be back in Cleveland, as always. Uh, this is my third time here, third time at Welterweight Wrestling. So, uh, you know, it's always fun. I wrestle all the time. This is what I do for a living. Uh, I don't want to say it's another day, you know, at work, but uh, I'm comfortable enough doing this. I'm ready and prepared, like always. So, uh, you know, another day at the office, looking to go out with the win, <laughs> right? Very cool. So what makes Welterweight different than a lot of the other shows that you go on? Well, that's a great question. I mean, not only is it the 185-pound and underweight limit, I mean, that's obviously just uh, looking at face value, looking at it on paper, there's obviously huge differences, uh, not only in the size of guys, but the style of wrestling that uh, it attracts, these, these young, high-flying guys. Um, but it's not always going to be the same. You know, welterweight's great in that not only is it this high-flying style and it's small guys, but it's also guys that can uh, show off uh, a variance of styles and different styles. So uh, I pride myself on, on that as well, uh, not only being a high-flying wrestler doing all the flips, but also being uh, proficient, you know, in the ring uh, as an actual wrestler, or uh, you know, my striking ability—all those things I think factor in. So when you've got a roster full of guys that not only are proficient and extremely successful in one style that's so widely popular around the United States now, uh, and also have guys with that kind of melting pot mentality of, you know, it's kind of uh, the best of both worlds, all within a certain niche product, a niche brand. So you are getting the smaller guys, but that doesn't mean that you're not going to get the same kinds of different styles of wrestling uh, that you're used to with a regular type of show. That's cool, because we were uh, chatting earlier with uh, Nick about it, and it's, you don't have, because I made some I made some assumptions, of course, with Welterweight, because this is, it's not something you see very often. Of course, yes. Um, especially not live. Um, in person, it's my first in-person show, obviously, for Welterweight, and, but like, the you still have the technical moves. You're still putting the submissions. Yep. You're still doing these, like, I don't want to say big man moves, yep. but you're still doing those big yep. guy moves. But Of course. And, re and wrestling uh, with, with a weight limit like this, you're not going to be in the ring with guys that are significantly larger than mm -hmm. you. So uh, a lot of the times, just because of my size, whenever I get into the ring, usually the guys are a lot older than me, they're mm -hmm. a lot stronger than me, and they're a lot taller than me, right? And that doesn't necessarily give me quite uh, the benefit of the doubt or yeah. quite an advantage uh, when I get in the ring. Uh, so certainly kind of a level playing field. It's uh, even for everyone uh, to kind of be able to do that, uh, which is going to allow a lot more opportunity for guys to display moves uh, that they didn't even know that they could even do. So mm -hmm. much less the people, uh, but wrestlers, the welterweights themselves, are finding out new and exciting things about themselves uh, with, with each event that passes. That's very cool. Um, so yeah. I was going to say something, and I lost it. This is what happens when I do 10 interviews in a row. Like, right? who are you now? Where <laughs> yeah. am I? This is my new friend. Um, where can everybody find you on social media? Oh, that's see, that's big. I'm all over social media: Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, Snapchat, you name it. Ryan Kid Pro is always the username. So if it's Facebook.com backslash Ryan Kid Pro, Twitter.com backslash Ryan Kid Pro, Instagram backslash Ryan Kid Pro. Also, I do a weekly newsletter every single week: RyanKidPro.blogspot.com. Weekly blogs, absolutely 100% free. I post new matches, Q and A, all my upcoming event information. I'll be posting exclusive photo and video from the events today, backstage, behind the scenes, things like that. So every single Thursday, I release uh, new new content. So social media is my absolute forte. I'm so keen on that. Uh, so all my fans have the ability from around the world to reach me. So uh, social media is key. Please give it a follow. That's super cool because it's it's giving them a chance to actually get to know you. Of course. And not just beyond what they see on the screen. Yep, Welterweight's great. Not only is it on pay-per-view, it allows people here in Cleveland, but also around the entire world. Not only uh, my fans in California, my friends in California are able to watch me, but also my friends and fans in Mexico, Japan, Germany, Europe, all over the world uh, have access to seeing Welterweight wrestling. So uh, in the same vein that Welterweight is displayed all over the world for all of their fans to see, mm -hmm. the Welterweight Ryan Kidd himself, I use my social media to do the same thing and show my fans and friends all over the world you know, what, what they can do to get involved from afar. Very cool. Thank you so much for chatting with Thank us. Thank you. It was a pleasure. Oh. 
This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com.